Donnie Schantz and Carson Macedo bring us to the green flag to start the feature at Sharon Speedway. Donnie Schantz at the top, Carson Macedo to his inside, Schantz leads down the backstretch. Macedo in second, Brad Sweet third, David Gravel in fourth, lap number one. With Donnie Schantz in front of the field, but Carson Macedo challenging now to the inside in one and two, sliding up the banking. Carson Macedo leads in turn two, but Schantz crosses back underneath him. Donnie Schantz back to the point in turn three. Top two work the high side in turns one and two. David Gravel running third down on the bottom. Traffic now officially in play as Donnie Schatz looks to the outside. Brad Sweet, a big time slider in turn number four. Gravel right back to his inside, racing for third. Sweet again trying to build momentum. Meanwhile, Carson Macedo coming after Donnie Schatz. Schatz goes downstairs in turn three. Macedo to the cushion on a turn four. Schatz maintains the lead and now David Gravel looking to make it a three car battle out in front. Macedo to the inside and one and two again will have the lead. Can he hold it? Schatz again with a run down the back straight away. Carson Macedo with Donnie Schatz side by side for the race lead in turn three and four. Macedo has the high side and the momentum and the race lead as they complete the ninth lap. David Gravel all over Schatz and Macedo. What a three car battle for the lead into turn two. Shots to the inside, Macedo on the top, Gravel on the top, in heavy traffic, rolling into turn one. Shots to the bottom, takes the lead back from Carson Macedo. Donnie Shots, your leader, once again on the backstretch. Donnie Shots back in front on lap number 11. Sweet to the inside of Macedo and Gravel, Gravel catches a piece of the wall on the back straightaway. Macedo to the inside of Gravel to take the third spot. Brad Sweet now running second behind Donnie Schatz. Carson Macedo coming after the big cat on top in one and two. Macedo had a bit of a run on Gravel. Now Gravel to the inside of Sweet looking for the slider in three and four. He's got it. The big cat crosses back underneath him. They'll go side by side across the line. Gravel was second as they cross the straight, but Sweet now back to the second spot out of turn two. Nine laps to go. Gravel to the inside of Sweet into turn one. David Gravel back to second. Carson Macedo to the high side in three and four, coming after Sweet for third. Macedo looks for a run down the back straightaway. He's built the momentum now. Can he get by the big cat? Moves to the inside into turn three. Carson Macedo slides up the banking. Brad Sweet tries to come into the L. Trouble right in front of the leaders. The 49X of Kale Thomas clocks the wall in turn four right in front of that battle between Sweet and Gravel. Donnie Schatz brings the field back to green flag conditions. Shot to the cushion in one and two. David Gravel on the bottom. Gravel staying with the leader down the backstretch. Gravel to the inside in three and four, looking for command out of the fourth turn. Shots has it, but Gravel is right there with him. Now Donnie Shots in the middle in one and two. Donnie Shots, David Gravel, Carson Macedo, and Sheldon Hottenshield now up the fourth in the 17. David Gravel right there with Donnie Shots down the backstretch into turn three. They'll get the two to go signal. And Donnie Shaw, oh, caution on the speedway, trouble in turns one and two. Two cars involved, the one of Nate Dussel and the 5C of Dylan Sisney. We go green again. Sheldon Hottenshield dives down low into turn number one, gets by Carson Macedo and David Gravel. Sheldon Hottenshield up to second now from 11th as Donnie Schatz continues to lead. Macedo back around to the outside. Now squeezed between Gravel and Hottenshield. Three cars battle for second as Donnie Schatz gets away. Hottenshield looking for another run on Gravel, but Donnie Schatz out in front into three and four for the final time. The 10-time champion sweeps the weekend in Ohio. David Gravel second, Sheldon Hottenshield third, Carson Macedo fourth, Enrico Avru fifth. Climbing up top for the second time in as many nights to celebrate a World of Outlaws win, Donnie Schatz at the Sharon Speedway.
finally are able to get a win here after a couple seconds and a couple close calls. Is this the first time I've won here? Yes, wow. you said that same thing at I-80 when that happened. I lose track, man, I'm getting old. Uh, been around a long time and uh, feels good to still be here. Um, man, how about this race team? These guys are pretty incredible. Um, what they're doing, the way this car is. Um, I can't say enough about them. It's uh, pretty unreal. What a great weekend. You know, tonight helped obviously to go out early qualifying. We had a really good, you know, we hot lapped well, we qualified well. And uh, racing, I could move around the racetrack and could really go anywhere. And that's uh, not very many nights you get a, a great thing like that. Last night we needed lap traffic tonight. Um, I had a good race car, so hats off to my whole CarQuest team. Um, this is great for all of our partners, man. They've uh, haven't really seen any shine all year and we're starting to see a little bit. And, you know, we got some, some friends of ours are from this stomping ground. Um, Jason, Tiff, Brody, uh, Absolute Automation, and Ryan Melly and all their friends from Pittsburgh. And they normally come up here, but since they weren't here tonight, I guess uh, we got to rub it in that maybe they should have been. And I think that should be a lesson to everybody. Don't miss a race anywhere yep. you go. There should, you should always always go when you have the opportunity. So um, hats off to, like I said, my race team. Um, you fans for sticking this out. It's, it's been a cold, windy night, wet, but um, Sharon put on a great racetrack. You know, there was a bottom groove, there was a middle groove, there was a top groove. We had no trouble going through lap traffic. And, um, you know, I seen David peeking his nose under there a little bit uh, towards the end. And, uh, you know, with them cautions, all I could do is just rifle the top or and, and try to avoid making a mistake. So we had a, like I said, great weekend. Um, if you're worrying about protecting, you're really just going to lose that spot anyway. You're going to lose that. You're, you're on attack mode. You're trying to do what you, you go where your race car needs to go and where you can get the best grip. And if you look down there in one and two, there's a spot, two car widths off, off there that's kind of chunked open and there's moisture there and I just kept trying to hit it and um, scuba had my car so good that I could roll to that point and then I could just uh, you know ease back into that Ford power that's um, you know I'm glad we were able to we're able to do that at this stage so um, just a phenomenal racetrack that way you know I could run the middle um, I didn't really go down and run the bottom except for in three and four but uh, man at the end I thought well uh, she's gonna be do or die here on the on the on the lip and if someone's good enough to go by on the bottom, well, cheers, kudos to them, but it didn't happen. Congratulations. Thank you. Ha for live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.